Okay, another way to handle the reseeding area is where you've got a, a cleared off area. And what we've done here is we've removed the existing vegetation with a non-selective herbicide. And we've got it down to the bare soil now. And so the goal is to just uh, disturb the soil slightly to give the seed something to mix with. And then uh, mix the seed with that soil and then firm it back down. Now, there's lots of ways to do this. The way to do it on a larger scale is with a mantis or kind of a small scale uh, rototiller here that we can start up and run and scratch up the surface and then rake the soil to get a nice grade. And another way to do it is just with a hand rake, iron rake, to just stir it up for smaller areas. So here we go. We're going to start this baby up here. We're just going to try to get some of this debris off of here, rocks and mushrooms and leaves, and just try to get a nice grade to it. Again, taking off some of the debris, you want to remove the bigger rocks. Grass can't grow on the rocks like that. Might rake it from a couple different angles just to get a little grade on it. Okay, so now we've got it disturbed. This is an area where we'll be choosing a shade tolerant seed because of the trees we have here we have a very shade is the predominant factor that's going to limit the growth of the grass so we've selected a shady seed mix here and I'm just going to take it as a handful right in my hand and I'm just going to distribute it evenly over the surface by hand nice and easy keep an eye on just trying to get it uniform Shake in motion like you're feeding chickens. Can't wait to see that on the website. And that's a relatively uniform uh, amount of seed that you'll want to get on there. And again, you see the seed on the surface, we want to mix it into about sixteenth to an eighth of an inch. So we'll just come back with the back of the rake here. And we'll just rake it through in one in a couple of different directions. And you can see how quickly seed gets mixed in there and then once we get all that seed mixed in there there's a couple of ways to do this with a wheel of a wheelbarrow or wheel on your tractor just to come in and firm that seed bed down to get that seed in contact with the soil fairly easy to do with your feet in a small area, works pretty good. Okay, now she's all firmed down. And we'll get our mulch, just spread it out uniformly. Mulch is gonna be critically important, particularly if you're you know, gonna rely on mother nature to provide the water. If you're gonna be doing the watering yourself, it's not always necessary to use mulch, but in this case, it's a good idea. And that's about the uniformity so that when you look down, you can see, you know, 30% of the ground through the straw.